Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz filling in for Robert Osborne tonight. It's August 31st. That means this is the last day of TCM's 2014 Summer Under the Stars Festival. Alan Ladd is star number 31 for us, and since 6 a.m. Eastern, it's been back-to-back -back Alan Ladd films. We still have a few more to go in the hours ahead. We just saw Ladd in this week's edition of The Essentials Junior, playing what is perhaps his best-known role as the reluctant gunfighter Shane. Next, as we go back a decade in the Ladd filmography, we have the movie that put him on the Hollywood map. From Paramount in 1942, it's This Gun for Hire. Based on a Graham Greene novel, A Gun for Sale, the film catapulted Alan Ladd to stardom after spending several years playing small roles in films like Citizen Kane. He plays a reporter in the warehouse at the end of the film, or he'd land an occasional bigger part in movies like Joan of Paris. Ladd even sang in a few film shorts, but no one seemed to notice him. Well, then came this gun for hire, and suddenly Alan Ladd was the hottest new star in Hollywood. This also marked the first time Ladd was teamed with another newcomer, blonde siren Veronica Lake, who'd caused a sensation a year earlier in I Wanted Wings with her peekaboo hairstyle. Ladd and Lake went on to become one of the great screen teams of the 1940s, working together six more times. You'll notice in the credits that Alan Ladd does not get top billing. The leading man alongside Veronica Lake is Robert Preston with Ladd fourth. But after Ladd made such an impact with This Gun for Hire, Paramount switched the credits when the movie was reissued several years later, putting Ladd's name alongside Veronica Lake, something I doubt Robert Preston appreciated. From 1942, also with Laird Krieger, here's the movie that made Alan Ladd a household name, This Gun for Hire. 